Hi, I'm going to show you how to run a pirouette example on Peregrine. So pirouette, this is the homepage, github.com slash spook slash pirouette, is an R package to estimate the error beast to move up. Right, and there are plenty of examples uh, that it can do. There's a, another GitHub repository called spook slash pirouette examples. And there are plenty of examples. So let's take a, the first one. It's not important what it does, I'm just going to, uh, to run it on Peregrine. And to do that, I will do three steps. I will first clone a Peregrine repo. I'll show you here. So it's also made by me. It's a GitHub repository. This is a Peregrine Falcon. And Peregrine is a computer cluster used at the University of Groningen. So it's completely local. So if you're not in Groningen, this is not very useful for you. Um, but what this repo has, it has a collection of nodes, some scripts, it's an R package and it has some presentations about uh, the cluster. Right, and what we are going to do is first we log into Peregrine, we clone the Peregrine repo, then we clone our pirouette example, and then we're going to run the pirouette example. So first things first, we're going to log in to the Peregrine computer cluster. Of course I use the command line. So when you log in, you see a Peregrine Falcon as ASCII art, uh, some messages, it loads some stuff, it tells me some, it shows me, uh, Hello Kitty shows me how much jobs I've running, how much the cluster loves it, these are my jobs, some quota, that's all irrelevant. Um, for now, we're going to clone a Peregrine repo. Well, I like to just go to the GitHub and I click on clone. I copy paste this thing and I do module load git. So on the Peregrine computer cluster you have to load git first to be able to use it. You do git clone and now we have a repository called Peregrine. So that's great because it has some scripts that we'll be using, especially this one, run R script. I've showed this in a previous video, so I won't uh, go into much detail about that. Um, so that's the first step. Now we're going to clone our example repo, which is just as easy. So we use pirouette example one, whatever that example is. Uh, we do git clone, bam. And we are going to run that example. So we're going to use as batch. So as batch, that means um, on the computer cluster, uh, there are a lot of jobs. So this is the queue. So these are all jobs. Uh, these are jobs that are running. Like they have uh, one of one of the hundred nodes. But for example, these are some jobs that are waiting to be run uh, when there's time and space and all those things. Uh, so yeah, want to. So to put stuff in the queue, you need to do s batch and then something, and then it will put in be put in the queue. And if you're and if it's your turn, it will uh, run your job which you sometimes is a very complex calculation. So what we want to do is I'll show you example 1.r. This is the R script that we want to run. It's a pirouette example. One R script, uh, completely relevant what it does. So ideally we want to write s batch example 1.r. But uh, you can't do this because the error it gives is very clear. This does not look like a batch script. The first line will start with the Bang, for example, this one. So we can't do this directly. So instead, we want to um, call a script here, a batch script, a batch script that then activates example one. Well, we exactly have such one in the Peregrine folder. So I do dot dot to go up one folder, then I go into Peregrine scripts, run. R script example I think it's dot sh example one now it's put in the job queue uh, so here it is it's running on node six and um, well I can wait for this run to end but I won't so instead I've just showed you how to clone Peregrine and the pirouette example one repo on Peregrine and how to put it in our beloved queue so that's it and I wish you a very good day bye.